What is going on, everyone? Welcome to 2021. I'm glad 2020 is over. So it's the first video of 2021, which of course means it is time for a update on my collection and a room tour. Not too much has changed, but we'll take a look at some of the changes that's happened. So let's get started. Okay, so starting off here, as always, in the living room. This is my entire setup. TV is still the same. 55-inch Sony 4K, although I actually have been thinking about upgrading this TV very soon. Um, this TV is great. Like, I really do like it still, but I don't know. Might want to go to a 65-inch now. You never know. So that would be that, that, that could be happening in the near future. But everything else down here, though... We got Switch Pro Controller and PS4 Controller. Nintendo Switch is right here in its charging cradle. And that's all sitting on top of this FM radio tuner, which I use to record some music tapes sometimes using that tape deck down there. And record player here. And here we got a, a PSVR demo disc. This is 2.0. I think there's also a 3.0 out now as well. And down here, here is the PS4 Pro. I've had this for a few years now. And the next collection update tour will most likely have a PS5 here. Although it'd be nice if I could put the PS5 up here in this corner. That's what I was kind of like wanting to put it. But I'm just not sure if it'll fit. Because I know the PS5 is pretty big. So I might just have to put it down here where this is. But... We'll get into that when I get a PS5. Over here, this little stack of controls here. This is the volume control level for the for the speakers here, Logitech speakers. Again, this is really a setup for PCs, but I've been using it on my TV just fine. Um, this actually controls different inputs uh, for the audio in on the speaker setup. So I can have multiple sound devices like the record player and the cassette player and the radio all hooked up into the one input using this and this is the uh, control box for the playstation vr so that's all hooked up and this is actually for the htc vive which is right here so the htc vive headset is right here and the controllers for it and of course the playstation vr it's right here, sitting in its charging cradle, which can charge two DualShock 4s and as well as two Move controllers. Or it actually might be four Move controllers. And there's also a charging port for a headset, which I have back here. So I am all ready to go for VR. And right here, just have a couple of just some uh, miscellaneous items. This is that... Uh, cassette, uh, a calibration cassette that I did a video on. I did a video on this as well. This is a cleaning kit for your cassette player. And this is actually the uh, the controller for the Ring Fit. So this is actually the Ring Con. I got this a while back, and it actually is a workout. So if you need a workout for your Switch, that's what to get. Now over here... Uh, a stack of games. Um, we got the... Uh, this is a loose copy of Call of Duty World War II for PS4. And the slipcover for Shenmue 3. And a copy of Back to the Future, the 25th Anniversary Trilogy on Blu-ray. And this is just a, uh, most of the same games that I've had. We'll just go through these real quick. Uh, Modern Warfare is new. And Crash Bandicoot 4 is also new. It's pretty cool. And Shenmue 1 and 2 and Shenmue 3. Astro Bot's also really nice. It's a great VR game. And Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been playing this a lot lately. Very, very good Animal Crossing game for the Switch. It's about time. Uh, Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and the actual Ring Fit Adventure game. So we got that. And below that... If I, if I can get this back in, uh, below that, we just have some uh, some Blu-rays, which I think are pretty much all the same. So those are all the PS4 games and the Switch games. But you might be noticing that there's no Wii games in here anymore, or Wii U games. That's because the Wii U is no longer here. 
I put it back in its box finally, and it is now in storage. So I'll be holding on to it for a while, but there's just no point in it being it out here anymore because I just never played it. And finally, here we have some some vinyl record albums. Um, this is a pickup I got somewhat recently, Television's Greatest Hits. This is a pretty neat compilation of of old TV themes. And Tired of Tomorrow, this is by a group called Nothing. And this is a Hippocampus album, uh, 1975. And we got Echo Smith, Talking Dreams album, uh, Slow Dive. And that's it. So, a small collection of record albums, but still really neat to have them. And every once in a while I do listen to them, it is neat. To listen to record albums still once in a while. But anyhow, guys, that does it for out here. So let's go into the other room. Okay, so here we are in the other room, the office, or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this is my more classic game setup. 42-inch Samsung TV. And we have the Xbox 360 Connect up here. And we have the... Sega Genesis Mini, all hooked up. And here we have the Xbox 360. Been working really well, though it actually did freeze up on me last night, so I'm not happy about that, but hopefully that's the only time it happens. And over here, we have an Impact Acoustics uh, component switcher. This has six component inputs on it, and this is really neat because it has two component outputs on it, so I can have an output going to the TV as well as to my computer for streaming. So I can have them both going at the same time, so that's really neat. And up top here is a digital TV converter box for recording digital over-the-air antenna TV on the VCR. So that's really nice. And this is also a super VHS VCR. And over here, of course, we have the second Dreamcast. Really, really neat. I hope to get the Dream Pie at some point, maybe this year. And the Dream Pie allows you to still play Dreamcast games online, so that would be really neat. And down here, we have the original Xbox with the DVD kit. And the DVD remote uh, for it is right here. So, that's very nice. And as well as the Nintendo GameCube. And I believe it has Animal Crossing in it. Yes, it does. So, really nice. And in this door here... We've got a 360 GameStop controller, as well as a chat pad, and a couple of music CDs, and, and these are game bit screwdrivers for opening up Nintendo game cartridges, as well as Nintendo systems, and this back here is the uh, converter card for RGB signals. And in this container over here, or cabinet, I should say, we have uh, my collection of Dreamcast games. Uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of get a little bit of light on here. There we go. We have Hydro Thunder, Pen Pen, Triathlon, uh, Walt Disney World Magical Racing Tour. And Speed Devil, Sonic Adventure, Outrigger, Shenmue, Seaman, of course, Sonic Shuffle, Looney Tunes, Space Race, Floygan Brothers, Ooga Booga, Stormwind, and Speed Devils Online Racing. Although this is a um, this is a disc only copy, unfortunately, but I still have it. And down here we have some uh, we have another Dreamcast controller as well as a couple of uh, VMUs. And the Dreamcast microphone. And yes, I lost the phone ball a long time ago. And some burned uh, Dreamcast games, which I really don't use anymore, so I might dispose of them later. And finally, over here, we have the Nintendo 64 console, which has been modded for RGB. And it looks like I forgot to dust this system off, but that's all right. Um... And down here we have a blue Nintendo 64 controller, Nintendo First Party, and a copy of 40 Winks, complete copy. I did a video on this, so check that out if you haven't seen it. 
And down here we have a few N64 games. These are just games that I did not have room to put in my closet over there. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, we have the Jumper Pack, which is the Rumble Pack for the uh, controller. And here we have that copy of Stunt Racer 64. But no, this is not a legit copy. This is a, a third-party, remanufactured, fake copy. Uh, but it still works fine. And here, let's see, this is a copy of Extreme G. And we have uh, Top Gear Overdrive, uh, Scars, uh, Hot Wheels, Turbo Racing, and finally, Excite Bike 64. And back here, we have a GameCube wireless wavebird controller, but unfortunately, I still haven't found the receiver. I probably never will, so I'll probably have to buy a receiver, which is probably just as expensive as the controller is now. So, that sucks. But, I'd, but either way, that's everything I have here. So finally, let's walk over here to the closet, which is where most of the stuff is. Um, still got a whole bunch of boxes. I love collecting boxes. Um, so PlayStation VR box. Here's the PS4 Pro box. And... Uh, let's see, we also got the DK Bongos box, and I now have the Bongos inside this box to kind of save room. So the Bongos itself is inside the box. And behind that, we have the Ring Fit Adventures box right there. So very nice. And behind that, we got a couple other boxes, like this is for my graphics card. And this is the box for that um, that CD dispenser that I did a video on. And behind that, I think, is my laptop box, that brown box. And up above here, there's the box for that component switcher. And even my old i7 processor, which is still fast enough for what I do. And behind that, I think that's my capture card box, that box right there. And above there, there's the Yeti microphone box. Nintendo Switch box, and yes, that's right, the Wii U has been banished all the way up to the top here. The Wii Fit U, uh, the Wii U console, a few Wii U games, and I think a charger for the Wiimote is also all up there. So it's all out of the way, uh, but it's up there in case I ever decide to sell it, or pull it back out again to use. And finally, we have... This stack of games, this is original Xbox, and we got Nintendo 64 here, and we have Xbox 360 down here, and GameCube. So we'll go through each of them. This is the Dreamcast keyboard with the official Dreamcast mouse, so that's very nice. And uh, right here we have a bunch of Xbox games. We have from Raymond Arena, Call of Duty, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, Mech Assault... Uh, Wallace and Gromit, Sims 2, Arctic Thunder, Apex, Flat Out 2, Mad Dash, Sega GT, Power Drum, Crazy Taxi 3, Outrun 2, Torque, Crash Tag Team Racing, Crash Nitro Card, Crash Twin Sanity, Burnout 3, Spyro Heroes Tale, and Whacked. So a lot of awesome Xbox games. As well as a few uh, titles down here. We have Halo 2... Big Mother Truckers, I Ninja, Blood Wake, and Stay of Emergency. And now, as for Nintendo 64 games, um, these are the best titles I have here. Um, we have Super Mario 64, we have Super Mario 64 Shindo Edition, which is the Japanese edition, uh, Donkey Kong 64, Rocket, Robot on Wheels, and we got Yoshi Story. Diddy Kong Racing, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Rampage, World Tour, Mischief Makers, Bomberman Hero, Bomberman 64, M Mickey Speedway USA, Milo's Astro Lanes, Cruisin' USA, Cruisin' Exotica, Beetle Adventure Racing, California Speed, Top Gear Rally, Wave Race 64, Buck Bumble, 
Star Fox, Perfect Dark, Jet Force Gemini, and Snowboard Kids 2. So, really awesome stuff. Those are games I've just collected over the past couple years. And finally, we have 360 titles. We have Banjo, Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts, Blur, awesome racing game, Halo 4, Naughty Bear, the Gold Edition, Gears of War 2, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, and the best 360 games I have, we have uh, The Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon, and Crash of the Titans, and Crash, Mind Over Mutants. So... Really awesome to have copies of those games. And over here we have... Separate over here in its own section. We have all the Xbox 360 Connect games I have. Connect Sports, Connect Sports Season 2, which are sealed. And Connect Disneyland Adventures, Connect Adventures, and Connect Joyride. So, really awesome to have all those games. And Connect games are really, really cheap. So, it doesn't really hurt to pick them up because they are so dirt cheap. So even if you don't like them, it's not much of a loss. And down here, I did forget, for some reason, the GameCube. Of course, can't forget the GameCube. Lots of cool games here, which are worth a lot nowadays, I hear. We got Animal Crossing, Luigi's Mansion, Mario Kart Double Dash, Paper Mario, Mario Tennis, Chibi Robo, Mario Party 5, Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2, Wave Race, Donkey Konga, and Donkey Konga 2, and Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. So, really awesome, and most of these games are complete, with the exception of, I think there's one game here that's not complete, which I think is Pikmin 2. Uh, yeah, Pikmin 2 is not complete. Um, but all the others, see, not complete. Uh, but all the others, though, I believe, are complete. So, really, really cool nonetheless. And down here, uh, just a big bunch of blank cassette tapes. I have a habit of buying these whenever I find them because I love cassette tapes. As you can see here, these are all cassette tapes that I have recorded over the years. So, really, really nice. So, and I have plenty more to use. Um, so we got a 7-pack here, and we have some metal tapes right here. And Type 2, Type 1 tapes. So, very cool. And these cassette tapes here, these are a a small miniature version of VHS. I most likely won't use these, but I just found them, and they were really cheap, so... And they were brand new and sealed, so I just figured I'd grab them, because I never actually had VHSC, so... I just thought I'd take those. But anyhow, guys, that is my entire collection as of January 2021. So, I really look forward to what new games I will get this year, and... I should get the PlayStation 5, and real quick, in case you're curious, these are all the VHS movies I also own. They are right here. So, got some good ones in there. And Shrek 2, I actually bought brand new from a Walmart years ago when they were uh, just clearancing out all their VHS tapes. So, But yeah, guys, so that is all of my entire collection. So, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I will see you guys next time.